rock steady at King of the Pit TV. Meow. Des Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV, signing in. We're listening to Dystopia, track free of human garbage. Alright, whilst I'm here, let me give in a little plug. I don't really tend to do this, but if you're here on this series of videos, I assume you're going to like the music I'm going to be putting out. I'm fronting and writing for a band that I've just put a demo, well, we've, we've got a demo uh, up and running. We just need to release it at this point. Maybe find someone to put it out or something or other. Band's called Chimpanzee, alright. Hardcore punk, but we can definitely fit into the crowd as far as fastcore is concerned and as far as Anarcho and Crust and all of that is concerned. Uh, maybe, perhaps a little more so than the tough guy crowd of hardcore punk, alright. So uh, keep an eye out for that. The demo is going to be entitled Human Zoo. We've done, I don't know, 12 to 14 tracks um, and... Yeah, it's sounding good. It's sounding really good. We've done a live session and whatnot. Uh, Snotty-nosed weirdo punk. Um, but with, you know, it's sturdy and stable hardcore music. We don't we don't go out of the bounds as far as the experimentation is concerned. Um, you know, it's toe-tappable, shin-shaking mosh pit music. With that being said, Sanctity, that's the track number three, all right? So let's jump in. Six when minutes, nine seconds. March 1st, he was filled with a self-loathing he could not endure. I had no desire to continue living with all the problems that were inside my head. All right, one moment. The, ca the capitalists have striking again. I wonder, I wonder who's getting paid for these advertisements. Hey, if you make your money, you got to get paid, right? It'll be the label, won't it? We've got... Um, that's why I asked initially at the start. Um, tank crimes, tank crimes, tank crimes. I think I think I might have seen tank crimes on um, Instagram actually, because um, they put up like dystopia tattoos and stuff like that. So I don't think I don't think it's some uh, you know some major associated uh, situation. Unable to make a living at age forty nine. I don't know anything about this band, people. So correct me where I'm going wrong, or if you want to fill me in on information, I'd love to know a little bit about this act. Alex walked through the woods near his house and shot himself. I have taken my life in order to provide capital for you. It's purely a business decision. I hope you can understand that. I have to undergo the constant pressure from auditors and it's more than I can stand. I just don't have the energy to start over. I didn't want to mess up the house, so I'm back by the canoe. Dr. Frank Dobbinson had a distinguished and productive career. He had a wife and kids. To all the world, he appeared to have a rich and happy life. But at age 56, Frank walked down to his favorite beach in Pensacola, Florida, shot himself in the head. Dearest Samantha, I can no longer endure the pain. I can no longer endure the pain. I can no longer endure the pain. Get to the point! We have often talked about when a person's time is up. Mine Come on. Now. That drummer is insane, yo. Someone put respect on the drummer. What's the drummer's name? And is the drummer still active in any bands? We came home and found our son lying dead on his bed of a gunshot wound. He had his headphones on and there was an Ozzy record on the turntable. So we called our lawyer. I'm angry, I hate you, I also, of course, am not too satisfied. Jello. Myself, I... 
Look up John McCollum, he offed himself during the song Suicide Solution on Blizzard of Oz. All things off very well, and I'm gonna blow up the whole thing. The individual takes a bunch of pills, and the message may be even stated explicitly, verbally. The individual says, I hate you, you're an evil person, I uh, want you to uh, jump out the window, or uh, kill yourself, or shoot yourself, or make yourself a sacrifice to the deity, and it uh, goes ahead and does it. It never really enters the space completely, but there's a lot of death metal. There's a lot of death metal. Most of that will be contributed through the low growled vocals, but instrumentally as well, it feels like we're just on the verge. We're just on the boundary of just entering death metal music, you know? <laughs> Arguably, we are death metal at this point. Extreme. Very intense. Very intense. The sampling for the first half was a little bit long, but then when we got into the the depths of the music, it was a bold statement. Lyrically, instrumentally, I'm I'm blown away by the drummer. I really like the drummer. I think the drummer is <sighs> Arguably, you could say the bassist is actually, the bass lines are the, the real foundation of the band. But the drummer is just very special. The drummer is very special. Let's keep moving. Track number four. The song starts to get a bit shorter from here. So Ignorance of Pride is coming up next. Track number four. Let's keep going. <laughs> 